All right, so here's a brief summary on how to plot points. So if we're looking at a graph like this, um, points have an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So say we want to plot this point right here. Um, so here, this is our x axis and this is our y axis. And a point is always written as x comma y. So we talk about the x first and then the y. So for this point here, the x's are all along the x-axis. Um, so here, 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 these are our x values going positive in this direction. So these are positive numbers. And then as we go this way, we're going negative. These are negative numbers here. We can see that down at the bottom. And so this point here on the x is just one away from zero, right? Here is zero. So this x value is one and it's positive. Um, now to find the y value here, same thing. As y goes up, they are positive numbers. And as it goes down, they are negative numbers. And so this point right here is up one on the y right here. So this point is actually 1 comma 1. Now if I were to pick a point, let's say right here, I'll do the same thing. We want to say what the x is first. So going along the bottom, what number do we have? So this is right under the point. Right? If we follow this point down, it goes right here. This is 9. It's right next to 10. So it's 9 on the x. And then on the y, if we follow this over this way to see where it's at. This is at 11 on the on the y. So then we have 9 comma 11. Um, if we do another point, let's say one over here, we're going to do the same thing. We want to see, okay, where is it on the x-axis? So here we're at negative 5. This is negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, and then negative 9, negative 10. So this would be negative 8 on the x. So that's where it is on the x-axis. And then if we follow it over to look at the y-axis, we're at 5, 6, 7 right here. So negative 8, comma, 7. Um, let's just do, let's do one more. This point right here, we want to know the x first. So we're going to follow it up to the x-axis and see where we're at. If this was negative 8 here, this is going to be negative 7 right here. So negative 7 on the x. And then if we follow it over on the y, we get negative 5, negative 6, negative 7 is here, negative 8 is right here. So we get negative 8 on the y. So that would be our points.